symbol is so that the darkness in the world will go and there should be lightness in every heart, in every mind, wisdom. Life should be full of lights. So it's not enough to light just one light because many lights. So the, the thing is, everyone, every home, you'll find they light many, many lamps, many candles. And today is called Danteras. Danteras means the day of wealth. What usually is done is to make everyone feel the abundance. What you do, all the wealth you keep, in olden days they all used to have gold and jewelry and all that. So all the wealth of the house they would keep in front and then thank God for giving all this wealth. And say so we have enough abundance, feeling, sense of abundance we have. And whatever is needed will come. That's how the festival starts. Dhanteras is abundance, feeling we have abundance. And Put good use the wealth that you get. So the eight type of wealth is there, and one of the type of wealth is valor. One is vidyalakshmi means wisdom is also wealth. So remember all different type of blessings you have received in life, and feel grateful for it. No. There is a saying in Bible also, you remember that, right? Those who do not have, whatever little they have will also be taken away. Those who have will be given more. That's exactly what Danteras is. That you feel, I have, I have abundance. Then you get more. So to get more, you need to feel, first it should start as a feeling. Like when you give, when you want to give, you should have the feeling, I have it. Right? So, that sense of abundance need to come from within and today, this is the festival of feeling abundance. And then Diwali means where we move from darkness to light. And collectively, every, and whatever in the past we have, we would have had harbored ill feeling towards somebody, or we would have felt hurt about someone. Say, what usually is done? A firecracker is burst. So you burst open a firecracker and feel all that is gone, gone with the wind, all that past hurt, anger, frustration, everything is gone. Now we celebrate life with newness, freshness. That is the message of Diwali. And then you celebrate, exchange gifts and all that. And the best gift is smile at others. <laughs> Give a smile and Diwali celebration. That is it. There is a story connected with Diwali with Ramayan and Mahabharata also. Today is the day when uh, Sri Ram, after his, his adventure in Sri Lanka, came back to his hometown, Ayodhya. Then when the prince is back, the king is back, the whole town welcomed him, lighting lamps. That is also saying the self, one got back the self-consciousness, self-awareness. You know, and then there was joy in all the senses. When you are centered, when you are in your abiding in your deep being, in the self, 
life is joy, rejoicing, every cell is happy. Isn't it? When you are so deeply peaceful and when you are back home, when you are at home, when you feel at home, what happens? There is nothing but celebration. When you feel when you are so far away from yourself, then there is confusion, muddledness, negativity, then you find everybody bad, everything is hopeless, nothing works, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Isn't it? But when you are in yourself, when you are content, when you have that contentment, then suddenly everything is beautiful. Hmm? That is one thing. Another is there was a wicked person, his name is Narakasur, because he created, whatever he did, he did problems for everybody. He created hell for everyone. Means he would just make life miserable for everybody. So nobody could win him, he was so powerful. Nobody could... Uh, kill him or destroy him. But one of Krishna's concerts, Satya Bhama, Krishna's wife, first wife, she, he went to fight with her and she destroyed him. This is again very symbolic. Her name is Satya Bhama, means truth. And his name is the hell. Hell can be destroyed by truth, <laughs> only by truth. So Krishna stood and Satyabhama, his consort, from the from behind, she threw an arrow from from next to him. He thought, oh, what this woman will do to me? You know, when people are so arrogant, they think women are weak and he didn't even re try to respond. He said, what this woman cannot destroy me? big huge big kings and people with such power could not do anything to me what a woman will do that was his arrogance but women power is very big huh? <laughs> <laughs> so the women power she she destroyed him and then he, he was asked okay what is your last will wish so he said now that I am gone. I want everyone to celebrate my going by lighting lamps and bursting firecrackers and distributing sweets. Because in the last minute he realized that he caused so much suffering. He said, now that I am gone, there is no more suffering for anybody. Everyone should enjoy, rejoice my departure. This was his last wish. Nobody should mourn. Anyway, <laughs> nobody would anyway mourn. But he said, this is what is my wish. Everyone should celebrate. And that also became Diwali. 